Well, I mean, I think you just need to turn around. Why? And put your hands behind your back. I quit my high paying job in the tech industry and moved to Montana to pursue my dream of starting my own whiskey distillery. Just around $25,000 to my name and a few pieces of equipment I brought with me are starting from scratch. Will our whiskey distillery be successful? We'll find out. This is Whiskey RP. It's December. We got a little bit to do. We've already been to Hoots Place and made a little bit of cash selling the sugar. Next, we got another order for some maple syrup. I got the pallet set up before I went and had my breakfast. And we're gonna take those over to the distribution. And there should be a little bit of extra cash in our hand. We already have enough for the monthly loan payment. So we shouldn't have to be too stressed about that. Let's get these sold. And then we will need to go over to the sawmill and get some wood chips and bring it to the whiskey distillery as well as probably check on yeast and make sure if we don't have any pallets over there to bring over so we can keep production going. But we also put out a notice to the community that we have whiskey for sale. So hopefully we get a phone call today or maybe just somebody stopping by to purchase some. That would be more than amazing. Let's get these sold and put the pallets down right there. All right, those are sold and taken care of. Let's go ahead and you can see we're sitting at 20,000, which is really nice. We got a little things. Let's head on over to the yeast factory before we go get those wood chips and just see if we have a yeast pallet spawning. I'm a little concerned we probably don't, but let's find out. We do not. Sad times. So let's go ahead and look at all those. Oh, look at all that whiskey. Looky, looky, looky all the whiskey and we're gonna go ahead and stack these with the other ones because that's the safe place for them for now how much do we get here we're gonna put the regular whiskey over here the original do that and we can keep them sorted pretty nice and we might want to adjust the aging process to where they take a little longer to uh age so we'll see though we, we'll get some friends over eventually to do some taste tests and and see what they think of it, but I'm not gonna stop sales if somebody does wanna buy some. I have sampled it myself. I, there's some adjustments I, I think I wanna do to it. Maybe, you know, tweak the recipe here or there. Maybe decrease the yeast. Definitely the maple, I think, needs a little less maple. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. But I wanna see what other people think before I make that decision, so. Yep, let's go ahead and put this away and then we'll head over to the sawmill and get that taken care of next. All right, well, I'm just gonna take this these wood chips back to the distillery because we're running out over there and that should be good for the month. And then at that point, I think we'll start baling the straw here. That's probably the only thing, maybe replant that this month. That might be, yeah, that might be good. Get that going and then probably enjoy Christmas after that. Hello. Hey, are you the guy that's selling us some whiskey? Oh yeah, that's me. Uh, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Uh, you're interested in buying? Yes, of course. I'm interested in buying. Awesome. All yeah, right. What you what you selling over there? What all are you selling? Well, right now we got two products. We got you know regular original whiskey, just you know your old school whiskey. But then we also have maple whiskey, which you know that's that's top of the line stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sure. How much are you looking? Oh, uh, we're doing 40 a bottle right now uh, as our introductional rate. Uh, once we get more established, it might be a little more pricey than that. Okay, okay. Um, can I come over and uh, possibly buy some? Absolutely. Alrighty, I'm on my way right now. All right, see you in a few. I'll be here. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. We're going to get our first sale. What's going on? Oh, not much. I like your truck. Thank you, thank you. My wife had it painted. Did she now? Yeah. She let you drive it? Yes, yes, she does. All right, so you're, yeah, you're the, you're the one interested in the whiskey? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah, come around the corner here. We got a couple of, this, of those selections. Over here we have our original original whiskey. And then right okay. over here we have our maple whiskey. Wasn't sure which one you're interested in. Well, I mean, well, let's go with the original. You want a sample first? Try it out? Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. It tastes really good. Awesome. How many, how, many, um, how many bottles are you thinking? Well, I mean, I think you just need to turn around. Why? And put your hands behind your back. What? That's that's funny. You're funny. What is that supposed to mean? Sir, I'm an undercover officer. And uh, uh, we have reasons to suspect you don't have a whiskey license because we cannot find your whiskey license on record. Um, so, uh, please turn around. 
The vagina's I, behind your back. I have it. I have it in my in my workshop right across the street. Can we walk over there and I can I can show it to you? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Let's walk over there. Okay. Just letting you know if you try to run, I'm tasing you a little butt. I'm not gonna run. This business is way too important to me. All right. Just just give me one second. It's in the back here. Yeah. You do that. All right. Dispatch. Can I have a 1028? Yep. Go ahead. It will be three zero two G zero Victor. All right, one moment. The heck, ten what now? All right, is this a John Deere seven R you're looking at? Yes, it is. All right, it is reported stolen uh, five days ago. Five days ago, okay. All right, dispatch. Um, here shortly, I'm gonna try to put suspects in cuffs here, person. Do you need any more officers at your... Yes, yeah, send me additional 32s to my location. 10-4. Um, here, the letter says... It's pending review. Pending. So, sir, please turn around. Uh, so, sir, as of right now, you'll be going to jail for not having a liquor's license, and you're going to jail for stealing, for theft of a, v of a motor vehicle. A what? A I, didn't steal, I didn't steal that tractor. I bought it. I spent $110,000 on that tractor. Well, all right. You're in cuffs now. Well, sir, you got the bad news of it is stolen. It's been reported stolen as of five days ago. I knew there was something wrong with those guys. I... It, can I take you to where I bought it? I can totally, we can catch him. We can catch him. And then you can see that I'm innocent. Sure, sure, sure you are. Oh, okay. Um, this looks bad. This looks so bad. Oh, this tractor looks familiar. You know exactly where this tractor was, huh? This is my tractor that I traded with these guys because it's broken down and I saw an ad on Facebook that they were selling a tractor and they had a mobile home here. There was two John Deere's, a case, some fancy guys outside that were, they look like security guards. Um, gosh, this looks bad. Oh no. Sir, come here. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Come on. Come on. Sir, you're under arrest. You have the right main sign. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney if you cannot form one point to you. You understand these rights are them to you? I do, yes. Uh, at this time, do you wish to continue speaking to me? Uh, I probably should wait. I don't mind talking to you because uh, I'm innocent. It'll all uh, come out in the end. Uh, sir, as of right now, you're being placed under arrest for the theft of a vehicle, a.k.a. Grand Theft Auto. And then you will be also placed, being placed under arrest for not having a liquor's license. And sir, you're also being arrested for bootlegging in this state. You understand? Yes, I understand. Huge mistake uh, on my part. We're going on down to the office. Okay. <laughs>